All right, so this is Silo 2023.2, and we've added a couple new features. First one I'll show you is the arch primitive. So it's in the create arch options here. And we've got this open here on the right, so we'll go ahead and create one. Um, we've got several different arch types, which are down here in the frame type section. We've got this uh, rounded one. We've got a square topped arch. Uh, we've got just the interior section here and we've got the depth only. So that's just this inner strip of the arch. Um, you control the arch with the, uh, there's the arch itself and then there's the support. So for instance, if I turn the support sections down to zero, you'll see the support will disappear and what's left is just the arch. Um, and then we can control the support height and then the uh, sections within that height separately here. Um, and then the arch itself, you can control the radius. Uh, as well as the number of sections. And then we've got also the frame depth, if you want to make a tunnel, and the frame thickness, and the uh, number of sections along the depth. So this is useful, as you can probably guess, for a whole lot of different shapes, not just a, you know, not just a simple architectural arch, but uh, all sorts of other things. Uh, for instance, if you use the interior, you've got a nice sort of um, mailbox shape or a house shape, especially if you turn the sections down. Anyway, so we expect people to be able to get pretty creative with this and find all sorts of useful things to do with this uh, arch primitive. So that's the arch primitive. Um, I'll delete this and we will uh, show you the other thing. I'll create a cube here. Uh, get rid of this, and we added in the modifiers, we've added a subdivide modifier. So this is similar to our uh, regular subdivision surfaces, but it's handy to have it in a modifier for several different reasons. For one thing, it can be in the middle of a modifier stack, and so you can have a subdivision happen, and then other, other operations happen on top of that. And also, it's just handy to be able to kind of toggle it on and off, even if you have it at the end. You just you know you want your model to be subdivided, but you uh, don't want to deal with it while you're working with it. You can just toggle that on and off. Um, we also added a handy thing here with shape preservation. So if this goes all the way up to one, then it will uh, stick to the original shape, but be subdivided. Um, so this is useful for finely controlling your shape. And if any of these edges are creased, then it will uh, respect that creasing as well. So that's pretty handy new modifier and we also added multi-monitor support which i can't show you easily but silo now remembers um, which monitor it was and where on the monitor it was last closed so it should reopen in the right spot that's something that people have actually been requesting for quite some time and we're excited to have that in um, and then some other uh, bug fixes and such which you can read about in the release email or the blog on our site uh, so that's it for Silo 2023.2. You can download a free trial at neversender.com slash silo. And uh, let us know what you think in the comments. And thanks for watching.